Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial and the subsequent ones, you will be learning PHP, HTML, JavaScript, CSS, SQL, and AS to build a full version dating app that can be immediately deployed online. Without wasting much time, let's set up our environment for the process. The first thing that you have to do is to set up the environment for the deployment process. It is to open up the browser, open up the browser and enter Google. I normally like using Google search engine. Then you enter ZAMP. Okay, enter ZAMP. <clears throat> then you go to download. Then you store, you download ZAMP for Windows. Because the deployment will take place on a Windows machine. Once we enter there, click on download, then it will take you to the download page where your download will be what automatically that uh, start. If it doesn't, then there an, an option will be given to you to do that. So once you download it, I have already downloaded it, so I'm not going to do it again. Then you just click on start download, then to finish downloading, then you install. After installing, then you can, the next software you'll be looking for is Visual Studio Code. This, then you go to download as you did for the ZAMP. Also download for Windows. If you're using Mac, you download for Mac. If you're using Python, you do this. Uh, sorry, Linux, you do the same thing. Okay, I have already downloaded it and installed it, so I'm not going to do the same thing. So after downloading, what you have to do is install it. The installation process is very easy, it's easy to follow. Then once you are done with the installation, then we are good to go. So after you are done with your ZAMP installation and, and Visual Studio Code installation, the next thing I want you to do is to go to Windows Drive C, then go to ZAMP, then create a new folder, a new folder called dating app. I have done that already, so it's not going to allow me to do that again. Dating app, okay. So, sorry, not in ZAMP here. You have to do that under htdocs, okay. That's where our local web servers will be residing. You have to do it under what htdocs so i have done that you go to new folder then you create a new folder then you name it what dating app once you are done with the folder then you go to your windows menu if your visual studio code is not showing you can enter visual studio code then you start the visual studio code and once visual studio code is running what the next thing you have to do is you go to open folder, then browse to your drive where you renamed the app or ZAMP, go to PC, then the C on Windows machine, and you go to ZAMP, go to htdocs, then go to dating app, dating app, then you select that folder. This is where all our files for the website will be residing. So in dating app, now I can create file, a new file, and name it at what index.php. Index.php. Okay. Index.php. And then we are going to try to output something to the browser to let for us to know that our web server is what run. Okay, so let's say uh, H1, then let's say hello world as usual. Okay, and H1, we close the bracket and that. And let's see the file, click Ctrl S to save it. Once you are done, let us go and see if it has been saved in our dating app folder under ZAMP. Go to ZAMP, then check on what htdocs, then you go to dating app. Yes, 
it is here. After installing XAM, what you have to do is that you have to go to the control panel, the XAM control panel. Okay, you can search for it from the Windows menu. XAM, then you click on control panel. And then once you have the XAM installed, you should see something like this. You should see something like this. So once you have your XAM installed, the control panel opened, then you click on Start Apache. Okay, then you also have to click on Start MySQL, MySQL and you are good to go. Our server side code will run perfectly without any problems. Without any problems. So once everything is running, then we can check that by entering what? Just entering localhost. And let's see. Sorry. Localhost. Or I just searching it for high. Okay, then really. Once you see something like this, it means that everything is running perfectly. We can check the PHP info to see the version of PHP, all the things that have been enabled from scratch so that you for you. Okay, this side will look sketchy for you. Don't worry, we get back to it. All these things can be edited in php.ini file. It can be edited in PHP dot in the file. So don't worry, you'll be going through some of these things based on what you need. You have to go, sometimes you have to go and enable them, disable this off and on. All this will be done under the PHP what in the folder. You will not even come here at all. So don't worry, this is sketchy at the moment, but you get through that. And once this is running, then we can test our site to see if it is functioning. What you have to do is that enter localhost. Then the folder name, which is what dating app slug index dot what php, and when it does that, holy our hello world is what showing. This shows that we are good to go. Our web server is working. Everything is in place, and we have to what move on. If for some reason you are experiencing, you do not see this window. It means that there is something wrong. Please leave your, 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 your problem in the comment section. I'm always active. I'll look into your comment and solve the problem for you. Please and please and please don't forget to subscribe and give us thumbs up. So we are going to learn it by our practicing. And I will encourage you, type every single code I type in this tutorial yourself. Type every single code I type in this tutorial yourself. Okay, so that it will be... Uh, you, you, it will be interesting and very educative for you.